In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Eonon dash cam in an E90 BMW. Let's go. What's up everyone, I'm Steve and you're watching F33. Now if you like this video, give a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss when a new video drops. Now today we are diving into the world of dash cams and specifically the Eonon 720p HD dash camera. Now this camera will work with any of the Eonon head units, but if you've got an E90, this video is tailor-made for you. So why bother installing a dash cam? Well, my friends, it is your second set of eyes on the road. I've seen tons of incidents where dash cam get people out of tickets or from an accident. I mean, you could also use it to record yourself carving through some switchbacks on an awesome road trip. And if something wild happens, I don't know, let's say a UFO lands on the highway, you've got some awesome footage to post on your socials. All right, now let's unbox this new dash camera. Now the Eonon dash cam comes neatly packaged with all the essentials inside. You'll find the camera itself with mounting tape, a USB cable, and the instructions. Now let's talk about specs. Now this camera's resolution is 720p HD, ensuring crystal clear video recordings. And guess what? It has a 120 degree viewing angle and a 360 degree rotating adjustment. So you will not miss any details on the road. Now this dash cam also has loop recording as well as the ability to lock certain clips and protect them from being overwritten. All right, enough talking. Let's head out to the car and get this Eonon dash cam installed. The tools needed for this install are a trim tool, Phillips screwdriver, pick tool, and a T20. The difficulty for this install is easy. Okay, so to install the dash cam, we're gonna install it right by the rear view mirror. So we're gonna run the wiring along the headliner, down the A-pillar, and through the dash to the radio. So the first thing that we need to do is remove this A-pillar. So I'm just gonna take a trim tool here and see if we can just get this, this cap off. There we go. All right, now with that cap off, we're gonna have a T20. So we'll just go ahead and remove that. Okay. All right, now to get this off, we're just going to pull out and then up. I'm just kind of wiggle it here. There we go. The A pillars removed. Now you can see uh, from my previous uh, Eonon touchscreen radio install, we have our GPS unit here, and then this other wire is for the microphone. So we're just going to follow that microphone cable through the dash down the A pillar um, and then connect it up to the radio. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is remove this weather stripping so that we can get to this panel here. So you can just take your, take your fingers and kind of pull this forward. go and then as far as removing this panel here you can actually put your finger kind of behind here there's a little tab and then that'll come off so now I'm going to take some fish tape and run from the radio location out to here. Then I'm gonna 
we're going to mount that dash cam, tie the line to it, and then pull it in towards the radio. All right, so here is the dash cam, and we're going to end up mounting it right here, but I don't want to mount it yet because we need to know that the camera isn't obstructed by um, this piece of the mirror housing here. So I don't want to mount it quite yet, but I want to run the cable and make sure that everything's good to go. So we're going to connect the two pieces of this wire. So part of the USB cable we have is right here. And then we're going to connect that to the other end of the cable for the camera. All right, so the way this works is you just kind of put these two pieces together and they're keyed, so you can't put them in the wrong way. There you go, and you're gonna hear it click. All right, so now that we have the camera cable connected, I'm just going to just attach the camera here just like this and hang it. And then I'm gonna go and just tuck this wire into the headliner. And it's not gonna be perfect, but we'll tuck the rest in when it's all finalized. So I'm gonna go ahead, run it down there. I'll probably use a zip tie just to keep it neat. And then I have a cable snake there that we'll attach the end to. Okay, so now that I have it run down the A pillar, I've got it tied to my cable snake. I'm just going to pull it on through. All right, so I've unscrewed the radio from the dash. Um, here is the USB cable that goes to the dash cam. And then I'm just going to take one of the USB plugs from the radio. You're going to want to use one of the ones that come out of this uh, cable that has two USB ports, not the one that has one. The one that's singular is for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so you're gonna wanna use uh, one of the two that is part of this uh, first loom where it splits. So we're just gonna go ahead and plug this in. There we go. I'm gonna shove this back in here and then Temporarily, we're just going to mount this up. We're not going to clean up any of these wires yet, just because we want to make sure that all of this works. It's no fun buttoning everything up and making it perfect just to find out that uh, you missed plugging in a cable. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just turn on accessory. Hey, it looks like we have a dash cam. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Now, I had originally tested this out, um, just making sure before I recorded the video that everything was good. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the app for this um, once we get you know everything buttoned up. I'll show you how to install the app and then also, um, you know, how to kind of configure this. But it looks like overall this dash cam is working. That is pretty cool. Nice and clear. All right, now that we know that it works, I'm going to go ahead, mount this in a spot up here where it's going to be out of the way, have good uh, vision to the road. And then I'm just going to tuck this cable into the headliner and then zip tie it down the A pillar.
All right, so now that we have the dash cam installed, everything's all buttoned up, we need to install the software to run it. So go ahead and go to your home screen and look for the app called APK Install. All right, then we're gonna click Install and you're gonna look for a USB-C memory. Over here on the right-hand side, you'll see UCAR DVR. And when you click it, you'll be asked uh, about personal data. You click continue, install, and click open. All right, so go ahead and I'm just gonna check this box here to always open. We'll click okay. We'll click um, while using the app. Keep while app is in use. Uh, giving permission for location recording. Click OK. And location access while in use. There you go. So here is uh, the view straight out the camera. We'll go ahead and click on settings. And I'm not sure what plug and play is, but I'm going to turn that on. And recording, recording time, I'm going to say three minutes. And then you can say audio on or off, time on or off. Um, the device, you can format the card. This just tells you your firmware version. But... Um, that's that's pretty much it now i don't have a card in here and that's why it says no card um, so you can put an sd card up in the top there and then record to the card um, but what's neat is it'll record the time and date uh, and everything for you know if something happens and then you can go ahead and save recordings and things so super easy really really cool uh, i think this is going to be really cool now, as you saw, installing the Eonon dash cam in an E90 is pretty easy, and you should plan to spend about an hour for this install. Now, I love how small this dash cam is. It totally blends in and isn't distracting on the windshield like some other larger dash cams out there. I also think it's awesome how adjustable it is with its 360 degree rotating camera. In my opinion, this Eonon dash cam goes perfectly with any Eonon head unit and is your ticket to safer drives, epic road trips, and maybe even a viral YouTube clip or two. Now, as always, I have put links in the description below to all the products and tools needed for this install. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, smash it if that's what you're into, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless.